Okay, so here we're given a decimal. It's 0.35, and we want to know what is the fraction equivalent of 0.35. In other words, how would you write this decimal as a fraction? So the answer, one way to deal with this is to think, okay, well, what kind of place value do we have? Well, the first decimal here, this 3, what does that represent? That represents 3 tenths, right? So that means that, would, that alone right there would be 3 over 10. And then we have a 5 here. Well, after tenths in place value, you have hundredths, and that's 5 hundredths. And as a fraction alone, that would be 5 over 100, right? So you can think of this as 3 tenths plus 5 one hundredths. Now, if we simplified this, what would we get? Well, 3 tenths, if you scale that, right, or say, well, how many hundredths is 3 tenths? Well, if I multiply 3 by 10 and 10 by 10, right, and we're adding this to 5 over 100, what happens there? Well, this is just 30 over 100. So it tells you, okay, 3 tenths is the same as 30 one hundredths. Why did I multiply by 10 in the numerator and denominator? Well, I wanted to find how many tenths there are in, um, how, excuse me, how would I write tenths as a hundredths? So I multiplied 10 by 10 to get to a hundredths, but I want to keep this relationship proportional, so I also multiply the 3 by 10. In other words, I multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, effectively keeping this thing proportional, this ratio, because 10 over 10, Right, if I divide these two numbers, I would just get 1, which means overall I'm not changing this, this fraction. So what's happening here? We'll have 30 one hundredths plus 5 one hundredths, and there's our fraction. If we add these two, we get 35 over 100, or 35 hundredths. And the nice thing you might realize is, whoa, if I had just looked at this right, and said, oh, it's 0.35, and I know 5 is hundredths, I could have read this as 35 hundredths right from the bat. What you do is you look at the, the smallest place value, right? That will tell you your denominator. So 5 is the smallest place value here, right? It's the smallest one is hundredths. That means that your denominator will be 100. So the smallest place value always tells you the denominator, and then the digits themselves are always the numerator. So it's 35 hundredths. As a second example, if you saw uh, 4.451, well, this is tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So after hundredths is thousandths, and then ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and so forth. So this would be what? Well, you look at the smallest place value. This one is in the thousandths place, so it's over a thousand. And then you just write the digits in the numerator, and you're done. And the decimal conversion is that easy. All right, thanks.